commercial pole mix is probably one of the most popular baits that we have in the Blakes range and it's the one that I find myself using the most often for the sort of fishing I'm doing so when I'm fishing for carp and F1s on the pole and I'm feeding it loose this is the number one bait for that and I'm just quickly in this video I'm going to run you through exactly how I mix it and how to get the best out of it so I've got a kilo bag of the pole mix here and that's about three pints of ground bait so that is plenty for a session i tend to find that once you've added the water to this one kilo will go quite a long way and almost double in size so i'm just going to show you how to mix it now i'm going to put the full bag into a bucket it's important to use a big bucket to mix your ground bait in make sure you can get the water through it properly and then all i've done is i've got a three pint bait container and i've put an inch less water than what the would be ground bait so but a kilo of ground bait pretty much fills this three pint bait tub and I've just put an inch less water than what there is um, you know the size of the bait tub and I'm just going to put all of it in at once and I think that's one of the most important things about this because you want to saturate your ground bait straight away so that all the particles have had a chance to take the water on and then you won't have the ground bait drying out through the session it'll stay a nice even consistency so I'm just going to put it all in at once and I'm going to give it a real good mix up and what you'll notice straight away is you get a really sloppy consistency but I wouldn't worry about that you get it like a proper slop but that's because I've added all the water at once this ground bait's got a lot of crushed expander in so it'll really soak in all that water and it'll end up drying off and being absolutely perfect but it's really important like I say that you mix it like that otherwise you'll end up with it you know drying out through the day and an odd bigger particle floating and that's not what you want when you're feeding it loose in the edge you want it all to sink down and stay at a uniform consistency so i've mixed a bit earlier and i just let it rest and i want to show you the change what once i've had sort of half an hour to leave it to rest and then i push it for a riddle so that's the ground bait as we've just mixed it now and then i'll put alongside what the finished product is just a nice fluffy mix it's not too over wet i can always wet that down a little bit more through the day if i want to to increase the amount of water in the mix and make it a bit heavier but i like that as a starting point because it just clouds up a little bit and it draws the fish in early on in the session and that's a good starting point for this mix but it's a good all-round mix for fishing like i say across down the edge perfect mix for that mix like that you won't go far wrong 